Have a seat. What about you? Yeah, where do I start? Start with the best part. Do you remember the theory that we had that Sir Francis Drake faked his own death? I found the coffin. Oh, goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Always ready to be enemies, eh? Nate, be careful. Come on. I always am. Got shot. Hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas. Ah! Yeah, that, uh, that actually happened. Honor among thieves. They got us all killed. I sure hope you know what you're doing. I don't have the faintest idea. You got your pride all tangled up in this thing. Never a dull moment, huh, Sully? <laughs> you're gonna keep going, aren't you? You don't always have to play the bloody hero, you know? <laughs> Shame we're not on the same side. I need your help. And if you want the task, you need mine. Another lost city destroyed. We made it out alive. Unbelievable. Yeah. It was. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Greg Miller. What's up, PlayStation Experience? How are you? Get louder than that! It's Uncharted! Love the enthusiasm. Welcome, everybody. I'm Greg Miller from Kinda Funny, and can you believe it has been 10 years of Uncharted? Does that make anyone else feel old? I, Ten years ago, I started at a little website called IGN.com, and I will never forget going to my first giant PlayStation event, and on the bus, Jeremy Dunham turned to me and said, you're doing Naughty Dog's new game. And I said, awesome, what's it called? And he said, it doesn't have a title yet. <laughs> and I'm like, you're telling me the Jack guys are making another game and they don't know what they're calling it? He's like, no, but it's kind of like Lara Croft, it's kind of like Indiana Jones, you should just go see it, we'll see if it's cool. And I, I'm sitting there, and I'm playing it, and all of these games journalists gathered around me and we all marveled at the fact when Nate walked into water and walked out, his pant legs were wet. <laughs> That's the bar of where video games were at a decade ago. Uh, if you didn't know, Uncharted came out 10 years ago this week. Since then, the franchise has sold, this is a new number, 41.7 million copies. We have a star-studded cast today for you, pretty much every voice actor who's ever been in the game. But let's start with the trio that started it all. Nate, Elena, Sully, Nolan North, Emily Rose, and Richard McGonagall. Hi. Here we are. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Sit down, please, please. Where would you like us? Right there on that couch. Oh, In okay. any state of undress you want to be. <laughs> oh, wow. There you get comfortable. We're here for a while talking Uncharted. Yes. Oh, good. Ah, oh, yeah. Can you guys believe it's been 10 years? No. Has it? No. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what this is all about. That's the title. Wow. <laughs> of, Since of when? Of Uncharted. Oh. Franchise puts you on the map. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah, that little game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's surprising, you know, the, uh, to look back, you know, having these kind of... Um, special occasions for something that, that you know, we, we looked at it, the first one as j just a job, just something that we, you know, get our feet wet. I love telling people there's no such thing as Uncharted 1. <laughs> you know, we were just so happy that they said, we're going to do a second one. And we're like, yes. Yeah. Uh, we're going to pay off those bills. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, you know, and then it, for something to become so uh, historic, you know, it, it's, uh, it's it, thank, thank you to all the fans. I mean, really, thank it's... Thank you guys so much. Without you guys, it'd be nothing. So. How does it work? How does becoming part of this game, this franchise, work for you, Nolan? When you get the audition, is it just another audition? Do you know anything about Naughty Dog? Uh, no, at the time, uh, it, it's actually interesting because <clears throat> I was uh, meeting the, the, the team at Naughty Dog, the first offices they had, uh, just, you know, I remember going, well, somebody needs to open a window. It's really dark in here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they're, they, the, 
designers and everybody's crawling over desks to get to people. And, uh, but the one thing you saw was this collaboration uh, from the beginning. Uh, the team, uh, it, was, it was pretty amazing. The initial audition, I think, was the same for all of us. I didn't even, we didn't really know it was going to be motion capture. Uh, they came, the <laughs> yeah. first audition was at a, in a regular voiceover studio, very small little room. And I remember Amy Hennig and Gordon Hunt. I believe Josh Scher was there. Um, uh, maybe maybe uh, Bruce, Bruce Straley. I think he might have been there because he was the game director on that first one. And they were in the room and they were explaining what it was. What, you know, and I said, okay, we'll read them. And I, I said, okay. And they said, whenever you're ready. I said, okay. And I kept looking at them and I... <clears throat> Typically, at that point, they would be on the other side of the glass, and I just say the lines. And I remember looking, going, "Are you going to stay here with me?" <laughs> and uh, they said, "Oh, did anybody?" Tell you? And I didn't know. They, that's when they told me it was motion capture. And, and Gordon, our director, said, "Feel free to use the space." And I said, "Yes, the nine by nine yes. room that I'm in <laughs> with five other people." Uh, Emily, what about you? Yeah, well, I'm, I was directing, well, I laugh because my first meeting ever at Naughty Dog was actually when I was buying a car from one of the art directors there. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right. I wound up there because I was buying a Jetta off of Craigslist, and I was up in there, <laughs> and I was like, so, yeah. what do you guys do here? Oh, you make video, that's great, I'm going to school for acting, that is so fun, I'm like, I'll sign the documents, okay, bye, thanks for my Jetta. And I drove around L.A. for a while with a Naughty Dog license plate frame on my <laughs> car before I even got the job and wow. who they were. And, uh, and the first uh, audition was you and I together. Well no, well, no. My first audition, Gordon was my, Gordon was my audition teacher at UCLA. So he brought me in, and I was the first audition of the day as they were setting up because I was teaching high schoolers right. a play later that afternoon. So I went in, and I looked at Elena, and I was like, oh, this is totally me. But just I was straight out of out of school, I didn't know how to audition, and you add on top of that, now that I know that it was a very weird audition, you're in a voice booth, you're auditioning for them behind glass, they're all sitting at the soundboard, but yet they want you to like move around these foam panels, it was so awkward, and Gordon was like, well, we're going to go with somebody else, and I was <laughs> like, okay, so I got the part though through a callback from reading with him, but my first audition yeah. was very weird and wonky, and crazy. As most of them can be. Yeah. Would you guys like to see Nolan's? Weird and wonky audition. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I think we have that clip to roll. Hit it, Silent Bob. I think I can see the path again. Yeah, well, slow down. Talk to men could be waiting for us. Nah, we left <sighs> those clowns in the dust ages ago. Oh my god. Oh, watch it. Oh man. That's disgusting. I wish I had my camera. <sighs> hmm. So what? The Spanish booby trapped the island to protect their gold? No, this wasn't made by the Spanish. I look closer at the spikes. You've got to be kidding me. It's part of our plane. No, but see, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, why would Tack set traps like this when his own men are crawling all over the island? It wouldn't. Which means there's somebody else on this island? Catch on quick. Come on. We don't want to run into whatever was chewing on this guy. Why don't you stay behind me from now on? Uh, <laughs> Jesus, Victor, why the hell did you get us into? I got the part. <laughs> so I. <laughs> could I? Could I? You know, I'm glad I have pants that fit me now. <laughs> Couldn't, couldn't have them hemmed back then, I guess. <laughs> wow. You didn't have the uncharted money yet, you know what I mean? No. That's when you can hem your pants. <laughs> wow, I don't know how I got the job off that. <laughs> Is it hard to go back and watch something like that? I, I, I have a lot of trouble watching myself in anything. I, it's, that's why one of the reasons I really like animation is because you always do the job first and then get to see it later. Uh, of course, with Uncharted, you know, you're, you're watching Nate run around with your voice and your movements, but, you know... Uh, yeah, that's, that's hard. <laughs> I'm Richard. like, oh, God, there had to be better. Mm -hmm. How did you join the fray? Like, do you come in at the same time they are? Or do you get to meet them and audition? I came in, and again, to another. <laughs> Richard McGonagall, everybody! <laughs> yeah. He was a straight offer. I love that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I came in by, uh, went into a, a different place than that. Before this, that space, yeah. we were in some weird place over in Burbank, around the corner and down in a alley or something. And this wasn't the audition, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I got the job. <laughs> um, <laughs> Gordon came out and got me, brought me into this room, and it was a, it was a big sound recording room, and there was glass, and it was just him and me in there, and he starts walking around the room and saying, this is this, and this is this, and you'll go from here to here and do this thing, and, here. and I said, what are you talking about? I thought this was a voiceover thing. He said, oh, I thought this was a game, and he said, yeah, it's a game. <laughs> and I said, but walking around? He said, motion capture. Motion what? <laughs> I didn't know what he was talking about. And he said, this is a new thing, motion capture, and he explained it. Well, I went through that audition. Oh, God, I hope that's not on tape. Because <laughs> uh, I went through that audition, and I walked out of there going, well, there goes that one. Forget it. <laughs> and the next thing I knew, I got a call back, and I went in to read with you. Yeah. And you were sitting there reading, just sitting in a chair with Gordon directing. Gordon Hunt, by the way. I don't know Love whether him. we've made this uh, clear, but Gordon Hunt, <laughs> wonderful man. <laughs> And Amy Hennig, wonderful people. If it wasn't for them, this thing wouldn't have started. Yep. And God knows I wouldn't have had this wonderful job mm. for so long. Because this has been, this literally was the best job I ever had. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So, Emily, when you guys are on set and you're doing this, do you think you're making something? that is special or does it feel like oh, I'm just making a game we're just all acting together oh I'm completely floored the whole time this is like my first job out of school right and it's funny watching that tape because when when I watch it you know initially my first reaction is oh yeah there's Nolan and I doing our thing and I literally just l like look at him and I go wait a second we didn't know each other we never met each other we didn't know each other there but yet like the rapport was already there and I think it was so special because on that stage, I was so stoked. I was like, I got a job. <laughs> yeah. And we're like playing and there's Jeeps and like we're wearing these things and there's like balls everywhere. And there's, I'm working with markers, Gordon. Markers, Mark, markers, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> This day and age, we gotta be very specific. Very specific. <laughs> and, and, there's, and I'm working with Gordon Hunt as a director. Like, yeah, mind blown. It was, but, but as Nolan says, you know, I thought, well, this is, this thing we're gonna do, and you have absolutely no clue that we will be sitting here now, yeah. 10 years later yeah. at all. Amazing. We're here 10 years late, later because y'all yes. did so well. So thank you for that. Well, thank Naughty you. Dog yeah. as well. Yeah. Naughty Dog, of course. There's a few hundred other people who touched the game to make it be great, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, and that's, that's something that people think, you know, we get so much of the adulation and, uh, you know, we get to come out here and, and talk to you and, you know, sign pictures and posters, but you know, I really, uh, hats off to, uh, first and foremost, Amy Hennig, who created the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, and, then, and then, you know, Gordon, our director, and that's the mocap side. And then it's everybody, it, it, you know, Evan and Christoph at Naughty Dog, who, you know, just, I, you know, we, I watch them. They watch me grow as an actor as much as I watch them grow as a developer. I mean, moving into their new offices and then expanding those offices and then bringing Uncharted 2, 3, uh, you know, Last of Us. I mean, the team there, every designer, every programmer, uh, I, I mean, I couldn't get a job at Naughty Dog <laughs> unless, you know, I, I could do what I do. But mm -hmm. everybody there is so good, so qualified, so dedicated to bringing what you got to play. I mean, we were just as excited to see what, it, what they were going to do with what we did. Mm -hmm. So it's, again, I always go back to the word collaboration. It was just such a wonderful thing for all of us to be part of. And it, and it was a truly a group effort. Uh, we appreciate um, everything you give us personally, because, uh, you know, my ego is yeah, of course. so hungry. Somebody's <laughs> got to do it. Uh, but seriously, uh, hats off to Naughty Dog. Thanks, Sony, Naughty Dog, uh, everybody, because it was, it was a team effort. Well, well, and one other thing, too, is, yeah, definitely. One other thing, <laughs> too. Thanks. One guy, yeah, he liked it. Um, <laughs> after having, you know, like I said, it, it being a first job for me, 
as the years went on, I was working more and I came to understand that what we had there as a process was so special. Right. Mm. You know, to come in and get a rehearsal day, to get to sit around the table, to get to talk about the scenes, to get to collaborate and have these voices and talk about the characters and what was happening and then to get to put that on its feet the next day and just to have the time yeah. and that think tank and that collaboration, that is what made this game so different. Well, I mean, that's what's made the franchise so different, yeah. I think, is the way you guys have all played together, whether it be the dogs playing with you or you guys playing with other castmates. Yeah. And I think it's time to bring out the rest of the voice actors if you guys are down for that. Yes. Again, 10 years has spawned quite a few other characters in the Uncharted franchise. <laughs> Let's bring them all out now. I don't know what order they're coming out in, so I'll call their names as I see them. Oh! Claudia Black, everybody! Yeah! Chloe Frazier herself. Come on out, join us on the couch. Uh, Laura Bailey, come to the stage. Nadine Ross. Woo! Oh, Troy Baker. I never heard of this gentleman. Never heard of this guy. Oh, there it is, he's selfie. Oh, it's like selfie. Kurt Baker looking good, making sure the rest of the world sees it as well. Now I re now uh, selfie. Uh, All right. Oh, no. Go ahead. <laughs> Graham McTavish, come on down. <laughs> Lazarevich, Cutter. Face only a mother could love, huh? Oh. This is awesome. Hey. Troy, give me a handshake. Oh, I'm like, what? Is it Glenn? Hey! Robin hey. Ekendown. Robin Ekendown. Robin Ekendown. Oh, you took your selfies. Where? <laughs> We have many sofas. Many sofas. Okay. Knuckle up. No, we're not sitting. Oh we're not sitting, we're standing. What are we doing? No, we're sitting. Like now we're all sitting. Now we're all <laughs> sitting. Now, please no, remember. Right. Well, here we go. Sancti. Hey. This is why I put off bringing you all out as long as possible. Oh, yeah, now the cats come out. Because now, yes. if you thought the panel was going to be off the rails before, now it's definitely up for it. Um, Just got R rated. Yeah. <laughs> Here's where I want to start. Yeah, thanks for the entrance, by the way. There was no warning. I was like, should I maybe go and wait up there? Oh, no, you're going to have plenty of time. I almost Thank killed you. my... You know what? I like to keep you on your toes. <laughs> Thank you. That's what it's got to be. Yeah, they're That's all broken now. It, no, they're fine. They're beautiful. They're lovely. Animals. They're pedicure. Yeah, exactly. They are. It's a miracle. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia and Laura. Yes. yes. What's it like to be out here now on this stage <laughs> with the originals yes. when you guys just put out your Uncharted game, Lost Legacy? <laughs> originals. Hey. Did you guys play it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it. it feels pretty nice. good. Yeah. <laughs> it feels, yeah, it feels good. pretty good. Yeah, yeah if okay. we didn't like them, we'd probably be like, it feels like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, both Chloe and Nadine had so much more story to tell. So it was really great that we got to come back and, and sure. some more of it, yeah. When you start with these characters, you with Uncharted 2, you with Uncharted 4, yes. are you ever thinking it'll go that way, where you're going to be the face of Uncharted? No, because no. you think you're going to die, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if, you, if you're not there at the very beginning, I mean, we had last names, so we That's had a true. good shot of making yeah. it through. I'm sorry, the face of what? The fa again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Will In we this ignore game, <laughs> the face of Uncharted. Did you, you see I mean? the cover for Last Legacy, Nolan? Because right. yeah, yeah. Is that a game? What's there were called? girls on it. Lost Legacy. <laughs> okay. Is that so in Uncharted 2? How about that? Can I bring it back to other games you've been in? Is that okay? Is that Because <laughs> again, they reference you in Lost Legacy. We did. We made fun of you plenty. Yes, exactly. They I, oh, I've you heard from plenty of fans. Yeah. We actually had oh, too good to play it yourself, the Jeep, huh? didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. It was good. Happy. I'm not playing a game where the character Nadine beats the crap out of me again and again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Bailey and I are going at it after this. It's all these <laughs> giant muscles. I just can't help it. <laughs> My son saw the cover the other day and he said, you look badass, Mama. And I said, thank you, sweet. I said, but the girl next to you looks a bit more bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's reality, That's darling. That's that is the reality. So then, Claudia, when you join with Uncharted 2, yeah. are you expecting to die in that game? Are you expecting to just have... Did you feel like it was going to be another job, or did you know already how beloved the franchise was becoming? I knew it was a cool thing, but still at that time, people were turning their noses up at video games. They didn't quite get it, and they yeah. didn't know. no one could have really known 
what Naughty Dog was doing in the fact, unless they were really in the gaming industry or playing games themselves avidly, no one in the film and television profession really took games that seriously. And I, it, I sort of came on at a time where you guys had proven that it was more entertaining to play a game like this than to go and see a regular movie. So it started to change the industry and people were suddenly starting to take notice. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of a big deal. <laughs> I didn't think they'd give Chloe, I didn't think she'd be that well written. I didn't think they'd put that much time and attention into writing the whole arc of all of the characters, the story, that there'd be that much detail. And I didn't think Chloe would get that much of a good run to sort of flesh her out, even in two. Yeah. So to then end up doing Lost Legacy was really amazing. Well, you originally came in and it was scandalous. You know what yeah. I mean? Nate and Elena are supposed to be together. You're in there, take uh -oh. hands, put on your back. Mm -mm, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't throw around home wrecker lightly, but... <laughs> oh. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, even, even the wait, way... Wait, wait, wait. The there way was, I was no home yet. <laughs> yeah. We had something. What? No, you Whoa. know that. No. No, and no. Whoa. For a very short time. Whoa. <laughs> Your wife is sitting next to you Whoa. right now, Nathan. <laughs> There's no Uncharted 5. <laughs> PlayStation 5. Well, actually, there might be. Again. Come on. I have to appeal to everybody. I'm sorry, it's okay. babe. okay. His real wife all is have down history. at the end of the couch down there. Yes, the one with the beard right there. <laughs> That's there's, there's a couple of us <laughs> with beards. Yeah, I know. That doesn't help at all. <laughs> there's three of them. I, do, I feel like, yeah, I don't like how far away I, I am. I don't, I don't right. like you? you. I'm, I'm going to sit next to you. come over this way. <laughs> no, well, then I don't get to talk to you. What are you? I'll be here. Oh, That's hello, perfect, Robin. Robin. Thank you. Why don't you, Robin, why don't you come and sit here? Sit there. I'll come behind you, and I'll give you the background while we talk. That's a little... There's electrical shock. With everything that's been going on, I don't know if this is a good There's idea. There's so many confused faces. <laughs> Just get comfortable. Yeah. Just Fuck it, okay, sit over here. What happened? <laughs> now it's Ooh. awkward. See, this is more comfortable. <laughs> Robin. Yes. yes. How many Uncharted games have you been in? Uh, four. I no, five. Five? five? I what? Five. There was another one where I did uh, some narration on oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The hell? What characters have you played, for people who don't know? Uh, let's see. Let I started see. out playing Navarro. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Um, I then played, well, actually in the beginning I was doing a, uh, I was doing a game for Gordon Hunt, yeah. which was um, Just Cause, playing Rico Rodriguez. Oh, I heard that. And at the same time, I was working on a game called no More, no More Heroes with Chris Zimmerman. So luckily, I was in the right place at the right time. Amy Hennig uh, called, uh, or go called up Gordon and, um, and Chris and said, I'm looking for a guy who can do, uh, you know, South American. We're doing a test on a, a new game called Uncharted. So I was lucky enough to go in and um, do the first test. And so anyway, so it was Navarro. Uh, then um, Nolan and I had a lot of fun doing some uh, nonverbal communication uh, as Tenzin. <laughs> That's right. uh, and then I followed up with uh, Talbot, uh, the irritating. I hated Talbot. Fucking hate that guy. No, hey, no wait, uh, wait. And then uh, for four, I did. Which you know, I remember when we first did the reading. You're like, are you really going to go that deep? Yes, I am, Samuel. So I'm going this deep. <laughs> so uh, he said, are you really going to go that deep? You really? Well, okay. Yeah, because. Uh, Again, in this climate, well, let's just well, leave well, that one. Uh, well, what happened well. is because of Navarro is another Spanish guy, so like you've got to do something different. Gotcha. I didn't want to go up like this, so <laughs> yeah. So you went. I had to go so down. So down. you went deep with the other one, but that's right. <laughs> Sounds like a Guatemalan leprechaun. So that's <laughs> a Guatemalan leprechaun. You, I feel like are in the <laughs> Uncharted <laughs> franchise DNA. But you know, it's always Nolan always sucking up all the, the ego and the praise <laughs> yep. and stuff. Yeah. That's and I mean, like, and that's the that's thing too. Richard. Like, you do different voices, right? Everybody on the first couch, they're just they're just themselves. Yeah. They're just you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. Ouch. We can't do any other voice. Ouch. Claudia Black, so committed to the character, won't drop the accent. Like. <laughs> I'm also known for not only being uh, uh, Nolan called me the Condor because I had this. Crazy oh, wingspan. You really do. Yeah. But I'm also known for doing <laughs> uh -oh, the mannequin uh -oh. Oh, pose. God. What, what is happening do? right now? What are you doing? What's happened? There? That that was, nailed it. That he was nailed great. the mannequin pose, everybody. <laughs> yes. So have you been happy I gotta, doing Greg, i got to interrupt you. The one thing I... Oh, one of my God, favorite no. things that Robin ever did when he was doing Tenzin. I forget. He had to <laughs> say something. Um, even though, <laughs> and, and they, somebody else would come in in Tibetan and dub him, <laughs> and he lit it down, and I wake up and I go like, where am I? And he just he goes, and I swear, <laughs> he just went, bing dong shir shaw. 
<laughs> and I, <laughs> I, I laughed as hard. I, I think we had to stop and break for lunch early. Because he just looked at me. He said, that, so. yeah. Is that, I, I digress. You had so many laughs. I mean, that was the best, I think it was the best part about working on this franchise is in between the work, obviously, uh, you know, all great actors up here and, when it was time to get down to doing the work, everybody was really serious, and we knew that we were a part of this amazing franchise that was doing you know, just incredible things with every test they'd show us. So we knew we were part of something big, but in between, it was just so many laughs and a lot of fun. You know, um, Nolan is like on all day, just doing different you know, <laughs> characters and, oh. and rude things to, <laughs> to keep us all. Entertain, but you know, it was really very just, uh, rude. Fantastic. Graham, tell me, the, tell me the rudest thing from the set of Uncharted. Oh, no, <laughs> no, I can never, no, I can never tell you. You could never tell. All right, all right. No, no, no. no. Please, no. I would be, I just put my hands out to be handcuffed immediately. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was, yeah, hilarious. Yeah. I mean, honestly, um, it's one of the happiest, if not the happiest, set I've ever worked on, and um, and that is genuinely a lot to do with uh, what Nolan does. He, he's He's great at creating that atmosphere, and it does add to the work day. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, over an eight-hour day, you might actually get an hour done. Yeah. But uh, it was it was hilarious. I mean, Richard, Richard, we used to stand around and watch him crying, <laughs> crying with laughter. That was well, well, that was the goal. Laughter. That was our. It goal. was laughter. He our was goal was to make Richard wasn't he? Was. 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 not just would, crying. Nolan would well, make him laugh at things Maybe. that were so disgusting. Like, you couldn't. <laughs> You it's almost so like threw up the laughter, and yet, why am I laughing oh. at this? You felt ho like a horrible person for actually. Yes. Because deep it down, we all are horrible people. True, <laughs> true. That's I just bring that out. <laughs> Speaking of horrible You're welcome, people, Troy Baker. Yep. Um, <laughs> Good segue. <laughs> Fantastic segue. I was wondering Lovely. what it was. I'm actually happy that it wasn't because he was talking about you know normally you have Nolan that's sucking it all up with the ego is like if this is my segue you. Suck. <laughs> 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 Troy. Yeah, man. What was it like it's, to come on Uncharted for? Um, it's, I literally just like put this up on Instagram or whatever, and I'm not being glib. It literally is a dream come true for me. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I started off with this when it was 10 years ago. That my, my first foray into this franchise was, was, was as a gamer. I was playing it, and I, all I wanted to do was be a guy that, that got killed by Nate Drake. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. And even when they were doing two, I was doing, there was this one studio that had like three different studios. And so you kind of like bounce back and forth down the hall. And, and, and it was a very narrow window to look into the booth. But I saw that they were, I saw that it was Nolan and, I, and, and Richard and, and Emily were in there. And they were doing the in-game VO for, for two. And I just tapped on the window. I was like, hi. And I was like, hello, because somebody was in there with him. I was like, I just, hey, if you ever need, uh, you know, ever need anybody. I was like, uh, the worst. <laughs> you movie. were that guy? I was that guy. <laughs> For that no. game? I'm just going to slip my Hell headshot yeah, on was the door. Like, <laughs> I'm not that guy. I was like, some people have like, this is my pen. So whenever you write it, you can always think of me. That's not me. <laughs> but I was like, if you ever need anybody, I was like, thank you so much. And they closed the door. I was like, oh. And... <laughs> That was on two, and then cut to uh, you know four. I, I get to not only be in the game, but uh, I get to I get to be I get to be a Drake. I get to be a Drake brother, and, and it was yeah. I, I love I love that character so much. I love Sam so much, and um, there was one moment when when my first day on set, I walked out. I'm wrapping it up. Um, <laughs> it's my first day on set, and I look out, and you know. We started the scene off, and it's just, it's, it's a Richard, Emily, and, uh, or Richard, it's, it's a Sully, Elena, and, and Nate scene. And I'm just kind of off to the side doing my thing, and I look, and they all go into T-pose, and they start the scene, and I'm like, it's no longer Richard and Emily and Nolan, but I'm watching Sully and Nate and Elena, and I just, this moment, just, oh, I'm on the set of Uncharted. And it freaked me out. So, yeah. And then I just got to walk out on stage where everybody that I've respected their work and have played and shouted horrible, horrible things at <laughs> on set and in the game. Um, I'm, I'm here right now, so I'm, I'm good. <laughs> good. Uh, Richard and Emily, what's it like? You know, you guys start this game 10 years ago, this franchise, but then to welcome each one of these into this. I mean, is it... Awkward, I'm sure you know each other through this, that, or the other, but to bring them into this family, is that weird? 
Depends on which one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Fair. <laughs> yeah. Can you can you clarify? <laughs> yeah. Could you, just a little bit. Getting a little was, nervous down here. We we knew we were lucky. Mm -hmm. We we had a, a great thing going, and uh, I mean actors for the most part, journeyman actors like us, we're happy to be working. And if another actor comes in, come on in, join the family. And we get to know them, and we get to know their quirks, and <laughs> Nolan berates them constantly, <laughs> and uh, we see what they're made of. And uh, you know, all these guys pass the test. It's amazing. It's if amazing. we come back, we belong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's, well, it's fantastic. It really is fantastic, because it just completes the world, you know? Yeah. It really completes the world. And you, it, to me, being a part of an ensemble is always such a treat, because you just get to kind of sit there and watch what's going on, and you learn so much and are just honored to be there. It just is like, it's the best. It was interesting, too, when, when Uncharted 2 came about, uh, I was uh, asked to sit and help cast. And it was the best thing that ever happened to me as an actor because I, I'm, now I'm on this side. I'd read the scene, then the person would leave and we would uh, discuss. And I realized everybody was so good. Everybody was good, but that person was right. We had a few people we were kind of debating about, uh, Chloe Frazier. What? And then, <laughs> you'll like the ending. <laughs> uh, really, we're dating, you know, and we're, we're quite sure there's, and then uh, Claudia came in, uh, just, I just got from LAX, and uh, she's dropping things like, oh, and hair, my hair, well, okay, well, what is this? And, and I remember she just started reading, and we're like, oh. I remember going, that, that's Chloe. That, I mean, <laughs> and she left. And we all looked at each other and go, well, that's a well, that's Chloe. And everybody was in agreement. Same thing happened with, um, I think, uh, Steve Valentine. Who, mm -hmm. uh, he, they were, uh, actually, Graham McTavish was up for Flynn or Lazarevich. And we, we, we weren't quite sure. Uh, you got one of the roles, don't no, worry. No, because did I, did I get one? Uh, no, again, you'll like this too. I'm not going to be a jerk. He was phenomenal. He was an amazing Flynn. He was a great Lazarevich. And we were like, well, he's going to get one of them. What, and then Steve Valentine did something interesting, and it's like, well, that's, that's Harry Flint. So he became Lazarevich, and then later Cutter in three because he had that, that report. So everybody was so instant as to who they needed to be, except Robin. Thank you. <laughs> because Robin was basically everyone else. You know? and, and, he, you know, and he was just so good at everybody else so yeah we had the scenes where i was either tenzin or talbot and then i'd come back in and get killed by lizard <laughs> and then come back in and get killed by drake and i was like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but James, you like, wanted to die i mean do you remember you know, the remember the early things why you, couldn't we get shot Troy and you wanted to die like I, yeah i was willing like, to do it robin's like please tag <laughs> someone <laughs> yeah no when, in the early i think it must have been two we shot uh, um his name's Robin. Robin was playing one of the guards, and he gets shot, and he goes down, and then we start. To, then the scene moves over here, and Robin got up and ran around to be another guard. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it worked. It was just, yeah. it was amazing. I mean, I every, said, everybody here was just perfectly cast. Richard, Richard, you played a guard. I played a guard. guard. Yes. But yeah. Yep. I played a guard in one. Yes. And ruined the scene. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, perhaps, Nolan, you could describe the expression on uh, Richard's We're doing this scene. Uh, you, you were there that day. Uh, we're doing this scene where uh, in three, when, when uh, uh, Cutter's been drugged and he turns the gun. And oftentimes, even I was a, a guard or, you know, yeah. you play, you know, you just fill in so the, to, to fill in the, the world. And uh, they asked, and, and we looked over and... and, and <laughs> Sully, had, we'd done the, this side, and they put Sully over on that side. <laughs> and he, we looked up. We're like, yeah. what, it's a serious scene. She's like, no, don't shoot him. We looked up, and he's got that. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like an ape. I just thought, right turn, Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> Ram and I burst out laughing. What's going on? We look over. <laughs> and just, you know, Grape Ape Shoot. was over there. <laughs> uh, and, and then, and then again, let's break for lunch early because we're not getting anything done for uh, 30 minutes uh, while we all... Uh, you do something that's interesting, though. You if you ever have to do, like, an extra, you always... What is it you do? 
Oh, anytime you see any soldier run with like get a, limp. a limp, yeah, yeah it was you uh, every you. time. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, got the. I always said he he had a he had a a, a real foot but a wooden leg. It, every animator at Naughty Dog is like son of a. <laughs> yeah, if you play the part where uh, the guards chasing Nate down the train after. Uh, a, a, you're like the Steve Shoot. McQueen of video games. He runs down the thing, and that's that's you'll see him hobbling down the. Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> I like you that had you to chased after guard. yourself. I did. I was Laura a guard had to in Las play Vegas. guard for me, and we were working with the child actor. You're constantly reminded, never children, never animals. <laughs> She found out about craft services. She did. And started making demands increasingly about the certain thing that she liked, which was kind of like her crack. So when she'd had a lot of it, it became impossible. To, yeah. We didn't know wow. what to do. That was, but that was the way we got a lot of the scenes done. We just yeah. handed her beef jerky. She was jerky. amazing. She had but to have beef jerky. No anything. one was watching. No one was able to keep tabs on her. It's like if you're in multiple spaces, there's no one adult that's able to keep track of what you're doing at any given time. So she was like, this is like Disneyland and I'm going to just go for it. Yeah. Which is exactly what any child would do. And then she'd come onto set and she, you know, it was like, well, where's, where's all that food? Where's it yeah. gone? <laughs> and Laura was like, I'm going to be the guard. I'm, I'm the guard. I'm the guard. Pay attention to me. Right here. <laughs> yeah, it's happening yeah. here. It's fabulous. Laura, for all these on-set stories, was it is it fun to break character and have these laughs and you guys are all friends, but how do you go from joking around, making fun of Nolan North, of course, <laughs> an easy, easy target. That was like a, that was, you hear that? That was a Tommy Wiseau okay. laugh I just said. <laughs> <laughs> to being like back in character and being Nadine. Um, no, it actually works out really well because Nolan is constantly berating everybody that he's with. And so it really sets up the scene for when you want to just kick his butt. Yeah, she was genuinely, yeah. you got to earn it. <laughs> Yeah, the scene where I had to take on both Drake brothers. Yeah. Uh, that was, yeah. And you yeah. heard it, and they constantly made jokes yeah. about it, just like that, during the scene. And so it yeah. really made me want to... Nice well, but, you know, again, going back to casting, Laura was an easy cast because she was the best person for that role. Yep. And we, we've known each other for so long. It was yeah. like, oh, it's like... If great. It was really yeah. Right with Troy, you know, when he came on to be the brother, it's like... People, you're like, oh, this should be cool. You guys work together. It's like, we've worked together. We drink bourbon together. This is a friend of mine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this will be, this will be cool. When and you can trust the people that you're in a scene with so yeah. much. And well, except you, Richard. Yeah. <laughs> except Richard, yeah. Wandering hands. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Nolan, in the climate we're in, you can't. Oh, a lot has changed from, in 10 years. You we're both from New people. England. It cancels itself out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that holds up. I also up. want to say it was a very, uh, an extremely relaxed set. There was no pressure, and I think Amy Hennig really set the tone for that. It was just sort of, there was no pressure to nail anything the first time, although we usually didn't, but, um, you know, <laughs> yeah, just yeah, coming yeah. in, having that yeah. relaxed table read, block it, and then just sort of figure it out. And she built a lot of, uh, a lot of the characters based on things that had happened. You had some type of phobia one day, right? Yes, Cutter had claustrophobia, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but you, you made yeah, that up. That became the yeah. character, right? People don't know that. Graham McTavish said, wouldn't it be funny if, if he had claustrophobia? Ugh. And she said, well, what would that look like? Yeah. It was and, amazing. And he did it, and we all laughed. And she goes, no, no, I like that. And then later on, that was what Any time was the impetus for him to tunnel. get into the fight with Nate when yes. he was drugged. That, yes. Otherwise, we wouldn't have had that. That would have been something Great. else. So it was little improvisations and ad libs that, that people brought in, you know, every, again, collaboration, everybody was willing to listen. And she really was, you know, sort of the mastermind behind it. I mean, she had a very, there was, she never directly asked for anything. It was just sort of yeah. things that were suggested mm -hmm. uh, along with Gordon's direction. And yes. all of a sudden she was sort of molding, you know, characters and, and the storyline. And, and we'd, uh, be, we'd have conversations between scenes just Nolan and I and whoever would be having conversations. And I, I was in the Navy, and I had a lot of stories. <laughs> and, uh, None of which are repeatable. <laughs> oh, here we go. We won't talk about them, but no. I had a lot of stories. So you're telling me, so, so a lot of the Sully stories that are told in the game are based on reality? The next time we got together, and we would, we'd go in for the read to do the uh, rehearsal, <laughs> the first reading of the scenes, and we're sitting, like, sitting at the table, and all of a sudden all this stuff is coming out. I, get, I look at Amy, and, and she goes... <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so Nolan, yeah. with all that, 
all the, those years, all these performances, all this rehearsal, all these auditions, all these people, all these relationships, mm -hmm. what is it like when they come to you guys for Uncharted 4 and they're like, this is the end of Nathan's story? We cried. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, it was, it was bittersweet, but, you know, um, I, I, yeah, I know, I don't... It was always funny. People ask, like, what was your favorite one to do? And, and I say three, only because if you look at it like high school, Uncharted, Drake's Fortunes, like freshman year, nobody knows you, but you become popular. And then, then they like you. But then sophomore year, you captain the varsity football team. You're the prom king. You've, I mean, it was like the greatest. So you know junior year is going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and all your friends are back, and we're going to do this thing. And then, then they say, we're going to do four, but that's it. And, you, you, you're like, and when we were doing three, we knew four was going to happen. Mm -hmm. But then it wasn't going to be anything past that. So it was kind of like, four was a great experience. Different because Neil Druckmann uh, directed it. And, you know, with his success with Last of Us, he was fantastic. He walked right in. You know, and, and uh, it was you know, a difficult thing to, to do. But he took over the mantle and, you know, gave the fans a great game. And, um, and Lost Legacy, is, you know, as yeah. everybody has seen. But... For me personally, it was like, wow, this is it. Yeah. And and it's like I gotta get a job or go to college. Now. <laughs> and 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 I had hadn't applied anywhere. <laughs> so it's like you're like, oh no. Uh, and so it was, you know. And so many people said, oh, are you gonna be in Lost Legacy? Are you gonna be in another one? It's like, well, you can't really have your hero walk off in the sunset and then go, yeah, I checked that. I'm coming back. You know. <laughs> You know, unless it becomes like, you know. I don't painter. know. Anthony Hopkins has retired about four times, yeah. hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. 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 So I think all the greats, darling, retire and come back. I'm no Anthony Hopkins, but I love you for <laughs> putting me in the same <laughs> sentence. Uh, met him once in an elevator. Lovely man. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Didn't I cornered him once in an elevator. <laughs> Lovely man that he didn't press charges. No. Uh, in but, this no. day and age. Yeah. <laughs> um, Emily, uh, what was it like for your final scene on set? Oh, it's just totally surreal. She wasn't there. Yeah, I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> I Come. played her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Completely. Oh, what You'll an notice image. the last scene she had. What an her. image. Oh my. Completely surreal. I mean, like I said, I graduated grad school, got the job, and you know, through the course of my time on Uncharted, met my husband, got married had two children on the games. Uh, they allowed me to, you know, I was pregnant and working and on this game and so much life had happened. So to be on the other side of it and to be saying, you know, goodbye, it was weird because in some ways I felt like, I'll see you again, this isn't it. Mm -hmm. But in other ways it's like, wow, this is it. And uh, I think the hardest part is just like, saying goodbye to a character. Yeah? Yeah. You got to know these, you yeah, got to know her. Yeah, you, you like, I know it's cheesy, I'm getting emotional, but you mm. get, you, you, there's a piece of you that is so attached to these people that you get to walk in and live these lives that you kind of dreamt to get to dream, like, as, I know, because it's like last, this is a big deal, <laughs> for like the 10 years, but it is. <laughs> to say goodbye, to, like, you feel that same way. Richard, you said it was your favorite job. Oh, absolutely. It was, uh, I mean, like so many people have said, the, the, the collaboration that we got to experience on this, because we were always allowed to speak up and say things, oh, what if we do it this way? Or just in the middle of a scene, don't even ask, just change something. And everybody was so fluid that we could change something and everybody would go with it and move on and we'd, turn the scene in a different direction. So to have that kind of a freedom as an actor is, is rare and exquisite because uh, most of the time it's do it the way it's written. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can understand it with Shakespeare. You, know, <laughs> you screw that up and you're going to throw the whole thing out of work. But <laughs> with the stuff that we did, it wasn't Shakespeare. <laughs> it was, uh, it was it, but it was so much fun. Mm -hmm. Just so much fun. I... I <sighs> I miss it. <laughs> and be, getting back together with these guys has been such a great kick. Because mm -hmm. um, 
the best. Hey, I got enough land. I can build a barn. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Barn. <laughs> I bet you can, Richard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sully ever invites you to his barn. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> Final question for me goes to Nolan and Emily. Were you guys happy with the ending, where the Drakes end up? Uh, I, I was because so many fans were. I've met so many fans uh, all over the world now with some conventions in different places. I, I was in Saudi Arabia, and they talked about the ending. Uh, and there were only... Uh, People talk about the ending of Uncharted 2 that we ad-libbed mm -hmm. the end. Um, clowns. Mm -hmm. uh, but so many fans have been so satisfied. They said, I cried. I mean, men, women, it doesn't matter what age they, if they, you know, to close off something like that and have the fans be so uh, profoundly moved and satisfied with that ending. Yeah. You know, you, you, you know. It would be terrible if he did, like, the Sopranos ending. It's just like, <laughs> Sully, hey, why don't you... <laughs> <laughs> You're like, he would be like, what? I'm like, <laughs> Snap. Um, click. Um, you know, it's just, I think, I think your, your reaction and the overwhelming support we've had uh, with the ending, I, 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 I can't imagine it being any other, any different. I think, I think, yes, it's, the, the great thing that I loved about four that we got to do, and when I'm proud of it and I'm still showing it off to people, like I'll be on a set somewhere and some crew guy will be like, that's where I know your voice from. That's where it's from. <laughs> or somebody that doesn't know the game, I'll, sh I'll pull up the still of the picture of, uh, of Nate and Elena on the couch at home just yeah. hanging out as husband and wife. And I'm like, I, I just kind of show it to people. I'm like, like, where do you see that in a video game? Right. Come on now. Just like the day-to-day, -day, the rapport. <laughs> that, that to me was so satisfying. Because we always used to joke about, you know, and when we were doing one and two and three, like, hey, what happens when, like, Nate goes and works at Home Depot? And yeah. like, you know, and, and honestly, that's And climb, what, get those nails. Yeah. <laughs> Way up there. I got it, sir. <laughs> <laughs> We always, we always joked about that. So to be able to see that happen and just that comfortableness was really great and I think a really lovely way to, to wrap that up. Now, I've been lucky enough that Uncharted has gone literally my entire career uh, talking to you all about video games. So obviously it's something incredibly special for me. This is the point in the panel when I'm supposed to wrap up 10 years of possibly the best PlayStation franchise of all time. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> I do not feel that that is my place. I do not feel I deserve that honor. So, Nolan, oh. would you like to take us home? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Careful. <laughs> uh, God, it's, it's such a great opportunity to berate and make fun of stuff right now. Especially Greg. Oh, right. <laughs> you know. But... Um, you know what, something I, I I thank you all for what you've given me. Uh, this is go. This is transcended being the best job I've ever had. This is the best experience of my life. Um, it changed my life. It made me a better father, better husband, better actor. Certainly, uh, and I've, I have friends that I will have for the rest of my life. I mean, really good friends that you can count on. And um, so this was more than a job. This was something that. It just changed me, and uh, I have all of you to thank for it, uh, everyone at Naughty Dog, um, but mostly my friends up here. Um, Nathan Drake was great, but Nathan Drake's nothing. It's, it, it's, it's a one-man show without everybody else. Uh, there is no Nate without, with Elena, without Sully, without Chloe, Nadine, Sam, Cutter, Lazarvich, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> and miscellaneous down the end. There. <laughs> <laughs> but these are, these are all <laughs> the greatest gift. The greatest gift that this job gave me is, is my friends. Don't trust um, Drake. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and, and, you know, and to Greg, who has been a supporter all along, mm -hmm. who has, you know, just. I really went out on a limb. You know? <laughs> you know, but seriously, uh, people ask me, am I going to miss 
Nathan Drake, playing him, yes, I am. But you don't have to because there are five, six great games if you want to play, if you have your, your, your PlayStation the, the, Vita. The Vita. PlayStation Vita. <laughs> Go on, play Golden Abyss. By the way, Golden Abyss, yay, thumbs up. Okay, there's people there. So... Nathan Drake never has to go away, okay? You, can, you, you miss him, throw him in your machine or whatever, download it. <laughs> Put him in the VHS box there and get to playing. <laughs> um, and I think, I think the best way for me to go out with this is to tell you all that I plan on now, for the first time ever, uh, playing all the games <laughs> in a row. I lived it, now I'm gonna play it. You should go too, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your panel, 10 Years of Uncharted. Give it up for these voice actors, please. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. PlayStation.